Hey everybody, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah Catherine and this is Leah Sees Movies. And we are back with the next episode of Young Justice. Last week we got our all-girl alpha team. It was great. We got to see Cassie uh, grow a little, learn her stealth skills, get trained by McGann, who's like a leader now. And we also got uh, a little bit of more Blue Beetle time. We found out that he has a friend who's recently run away from an abusive uh, stepfather uh, and gets kidnapped in some plan related to Queen Bee and sending off children to an anonymous space partner for presumably nefarious deeds. Um, and in this episode I expect to not revisit that plot at all and go to something completely different. Um, I, uh, the thumbnail has Gar and another speedster looking person. Um, I, I know there's a bunch of them. I don't know it well enough to like guess who it is just off the still image. And with that, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started. That looks like Ash. Volcano. Go along. Sorry, only seats one. I know that voice. The data files McGann and Ja'an recovered on Molina Island before it was destroyed. Ah, oh, noted. Apparently, the Krolataeans were snatching humans to use as guinea pigs. Wouldn't McGann be able to translate it since she learned their language? Or Blue Beetle? The nearest translation is metagene. Wouldn't you kidnap super people if you're looking for metagenes? Or I guess is it just like the capacity to have a superpower? Stand ready. I mean, that'd be a really terrible way to launch an attack, to be fair. Ta -da! Like, oh boy, I'm trying to break in and do some, some villainy. I'm gonna very loudly and slowly teleport into their living room. Impulse? That's so crash! Catchy, dramatic, one word. Is that Wally? Sounds like Wally. You two, take him down. Now! Punk style faucets, so retro. Why? What, what are you doing? Like, this isn't villainy, but this is very annoying. <laughs> is there a reason Beast Boy doesn't like water? Like, cats don't like water, but I mean, just get up. Limbo time! See what I said about speedsters? They're annoying. Like, there's no need for all of that. You can't catch me that easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he trained with Wally, like. If anyone's suited to catch a speedster. Now that was Crash. I feel like I missed something. There's a bad joke I'm not getting. The good guys have been looking for the real Roy Harper for years. Yep. And stop calling him the real Roy Harper. Just the other Maybe one. He's clone, but I need you to be real. Our daughter needs you to be real. Who's babysitting her? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no one at all. They brought her with. My name's Bart Allen. Bart. You know? Grandson of Barry Allen, the Flash. I've clearly got Flash's speed, his amazing good looks. Frankly, I can't wait to meet him. Uh, uh, you know, back when he was in his prime. Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, Garfield <laughs> Logan. Your name's Tim? <laughs> Gar is valid for that. Could he really be from the future? Tell us something we don't know. When do I get my own reality series? <laughs> Sorry, BB. Never was the best history student. Besides, we can't risk altering the time stream. We do that, we're all feeling the mode. I'm... And the mode would be bad? Doesn't get any worse. Always better to crash the mode. There's always something... Uh, when they try to write, like, future slang. Like, who? What do people think is fun in the future? <laughs> What's hip and cool? And, oh, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? Hi, Mel. Bye, Mel. You planted a tracer? It'll fall off at his speed. It won't. He drank it. Mm. Subcutaneous microtracker in the water. Nice. Thanks. He's making a beeline for Central City. I mean, he did say he wants to meet his, his grandpa. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! We idolize you two. 70 years of marriage is quite the achievement. How old are they? They're very spry for like, what, 90 year olds at minimum? Another speedster? He, he says, says he's, he's my, my what? <laughs> Your grandson! Ugh. I've always dreamed of doing this. I mean, when you were young and I didn't have to worry about breaking you, Gramps. <laughs> hey, Grandma. Ugh, love you, too. You must be the Garricks. That makes you like my honorary great grandparents. <laughs> uh, Barry. <laughs> 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 
Congratulations on the baby. Heck, Iris and I don't even have kids. Yet. Um, Barry. What? I'm Oh wow, well, that's actually how he finds out. That's wild. Hi, Dad. Hi, Aunt Dawn. Wait, there are two in there? We're having twins? Oops. Spoiler. Careful, kid. If you are what you say you are, revealing too much could crash the whole time stream. You're Wally West. My first cousin wants to move. He's wholesome. Like, he's annoying, but, like, he's clearly here. Don't answer that. For fun. Uh, I mean, why, why interrupt Oh, me? okay. So something bad is going to happen? A new superpower lunatic is calling for blood. Your blood. I mean, if his dad and aunt are already, you know, in utero, then presumably, like, they're, they're cool. Like, they make it. Why does he look exactly like Mr. Freeze, but hot? I, I don't know about that character design. I feel like they could have switched it up a little. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Let the League handle this guy. I mean, how often does a relative from the future show up at your door? So, like, does he die and he's trying to save his grandfather? I mean... Back in a flash. <laughs> Back in a flash. Wow. Does he say that often? <sighs> <laughs> Too often. <laughs> You're going, aren't you? Doi. <laughs> Cause that would make sense if he's just like he never got to meet his grandfather, so he's so like, ha ha, hi grandpa, who I've definitely met before. There's just seems to be no real aiming happening with girl. Why would you stop to watch you and your baby get hit by a car? Don't run, and you and your little one will be just fine. Why don't run? I wanna run. I don't like villains who just cause damage, like Aim at something. Although I do like the rings. That's fun. It's good. That looks cool. Ooh. Nice trip. Thanks. Dad taught me. He learned it. Well, we'll learn it from you. Okay, so I guess he doesn't die. So why is he back? And obviously trying to keep Flash away from this guy. He's generating cascading waves of energy. He's just gonna keep Each causing damage. starts before the previous wave dissipates. There are no gaps at any speed. We can't get close. Wait a minute. I, <laughs> I want to see you beat the bad guy in person in your prime. Then just sit. If you're just running around being a distraction, that's not helpful. Why is he back if Flash doesn't die? His medicine performs better than against the meat. Okay, so they use the same slang. So is he from a future, I mean, we saw that there was like Ash at the beginning. So is he from a future where the Krolatans have taken over? But if that's true, why would he be trying to keep Flash away from this guy? If he doesn't kill him. But also if Krolatans have taken over, I mean, I guess he'd adopt their use of language. And if he is from a post-apocalypse, he's really chill about it. Activities. Also, I feel like this would have been a good time for a pacifier. Told you have left her with your sister. Yeah, probably. Now, what are y'all gonna do exactly? Just get your cars blown up? Back. Protecting the city's what they pay me for, Speedy. I mean, yeah, but well, Speedy's the other guy. Though history books were really unclear on the why. <laughs> it's true. The name makes no sense. You handle that, and we handle Neutron, right? Right. Wait. Yeah, he knows this guy. Remember that wind funnel that you used to save me? Sure, I remember. I was there. Do it again on a bigger scale. You, me, Kid Flash. Around the perimeter. He's like 20 now. Can you still call him Kid Flash? Okay. Oh my gosh. Any of this. Every fifth word, maybe. Flash. So they're literally talking at super speed. That's fun. I heard something about funnel cake. And I guess he doesn't have super hearing. Yeah, driving your police cars into that is just asking to be blown up, but like. Glad you're here for moral support or whatever. Are they all running in the same direction? Go yeah. ahead, lap me. I'm used to it. Aww. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't you say I it. Left. Come on. That's cool. I mean, obviously, I figured Flash was faster than Kid Flash, but like. Not that I didn't realize it was like to that degree. You're so gonna feel the mode. Oh. 
I cannot figure out what the like plan is. We run away now or just let that ride? Oh boy. This is bad maybe? I don't know. See, you told that lady to walk away. This is so humiliating. <laughs> yeah, that lady's dead. Her and her baby are dead. Like, are you kidding me right now? Walk, don't run. Hope that shelter had a basement. Neutron totally felt the mode. He's gone. Who's Neutron? The bad, bad guy. guy. Okay, fine. <laughs> Except he's not so much feeling modes as putting his body back together from scratch. Oh, fun. And he's still releasing energy. What's going on? How did I get here? Whoa. What's happened to me? Our control device was destroyed. So, is someone a future West Neutron that they experimented on? Okay, like that makes sense. Find someone with the metagene, use it, control it. I think that getup he was wearing before was some kind of containment suit. Without it, he's even less stable. But so the, the waves of energy now, now is his energy heartbeat. Wave. I didn't see that. You don't have the Allen family eyes. Don't make me hurt you. Each at near light speed, I can race in, grab Neutron, and haul him to the desert to minimize damage. That sounds kind of... You two stay put. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> That's corny. I like it. I, I still kind of want to go back to my, like, Flash dies theory. But even though he keeps making it sound like that's not what happened. Or is that going to be, like, future him? Because that was a very familiar voice. Oh, you, really? This is why we don't have sentimental eye contact. Look at the feet. Look at your floor. <laughs> Adam, I feel like this glowing dude should be his problem, just conceptually. Oh, not this 90-year-old man had to come in and save you. You realize you almost got him killed, right? He saved me. Or at least, you all did. Neutron's overload accelerated. Even at my top speed, I'd have never made it to the desert in time. Where's the kid? They really didn't change his name. Like, obviously he retired. Maybe they didn't feel the need to get a new one, but Kid Flash... Can't he buy alcohol like that's embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Just in a continuous cycle of exploding, healing, exploding again. But it looks like it's over. His heat signature reads normal human now. What did happen? No idea. What? Like obviously the kid <laughs> the kid is hiding something, he knows more than he's letting on, blah blah blah. But like should I be concerned over the obvious delight our daughter takes in the ultraviolence? <laughs> She's great. Great. She takes after her mom. Love that for her. But yeah, I don't I don't understand impulse. And I want to. Like I'm assuming he's a good guy because he's, you know, stopping that man from exploding. But I love a costume claw. This DNA matches up with both Iris and you, Barry. And this thing is giving off both Zeta and Chronotron radiation. Which means you're exactly who you say you are. Ha! <laughs> Told you. Anyway, it's big crash. But the future awaits. I gotta run. Yeah, like, no one's gonna question him further that he just came for a fun little visit. I look forward to meeting you again for the first time and watching you grow up. That... This is wholesome, but I need them to ask more questions. They're just letting <laughs> my grandkid came from the f past, from the future, just to say hi, go. That's so suspicious. You're all smarter than this. Maybe he's traveling forward one second <laughs> at a time? Are they gonna let Mal do anything ever? Look at me. I'm trapped in a stupid past. Ugh, I'm so moated. Seriously, does Mal do anything like ever? Because he just is there. <laughs> Trip to the past will fry the machine circuitry. This is a one-way ticket. Does this look like a future worth returning to? Oh, not justice. 
Makes sense. Teleports the exact same place 40 years later. I better get in character, Neutron. Please, don't use that name. I was Neutron for too many years. <sighs> Through too much destruction. Curing me and saving Flash's life. You know, that's only the beginning. Okay, but I was right. Flash does die originally. Curing me, saving Flash's life. I was like, I feel like he was bullshitting, and I was right. I'm like, I don't think he's... That kid is so crash. He did it. It's a new day. I mean, you're not in a jumpsuit. No. Time stream. It should have all changed. All at once, the mode. should have crashed. should have all crashed. Yeah, your meta inhibitor necklace is gone. It looks like your life personally improved, but uh, not the world. All right, so we left off on a very depressing ending. In about 40 years, it's gonna be completely post-apocalyptic. Everything's gone to shit. The Krolatans are apparently um, controlling the time stream or controlling uh, metahumans. But like the Krolatans were not introduced as a major threat. Like they were kind of introduced as like space vultures. Like they're coming here, they're stealing stuff, vultures and threats, scavengers. Space scavengers, like, they're coming in, they're stealing stuff, they're using it for their own ends, they're very annoying, but, like, not, like, a life-ending threat, except to maybe a couple people. Um, but if they really leveled up to, like, we're kidnapping people, we're searching for metahumans, we're trying to control them and use them to our own ends, I don't, like, that has not seemed, like, in their power range from the way they've been introduced, so that kind of brings into question what are they leveling up for? Like, is it the mysterious competitor? Is there come kind of like, s <laughs> is there some kind of like space war that they're prepping for? And they're like, okay, we need soldiers to fight against the competitor. I don't know. Obviously, this is going to loop into the kidnapping of people, I can only assume. But then the question is like, are they and the competitor searching for the same thing? And it makes sense if they're looking for it. If they're looking for metahumans, because my whole thing with um, Long Shadow last episode is I just thought his grandfather is way too cavalier about it. So I was like, I feel like he has an ability that he's going to unlock at some point, And that's why his grandfather's like, don't even worry about him. Like, when the time comes, like, he'll be ready to protect himself. So if he does have a metagene, but it seems like they're just picking up, like, random runaways. So is it just kind of like... It's like in humans, like there's a whole bunch of people who have the gene, but until it's activated, they'll never know. So they're just kidnapping whoever's convenient, like runaways, and they're just kind of poking around until they get what they want. And you know, once they do, boom goes the dynamite, then they can start making like super soldiers. Because we know that the name of the season is Invasion, which means that I'm obviously prepping for some kind of alien invasion, but is it going to be like using Earth's people against it? to kind of just Civil War style let the house crumble from the inside out. Maybe. I'm going aliens kidnapping humans to make super soldiers. That's going to be my new uh, theory for the day. Whether or not both sides are doing it or just the Quillotans, that's still up in the air. I think it's funny that Bart was like, let me get into character, and then the character he chose was massively annoying. Like... He could have just like been a person, but I guess he has to be that level of like hyperactic, ch hyperactive, childish, whatever, so that they'll believe that like, yeah, I just decided to go back in time, meet my grandpa and come back. It's just a fun little trip and no, don't ask me any questions. Whereas if he had been a little bit, I guess, more severe, they'd have been like, have you thought of the consequences of this? But he, his, his role of being so hyperactive and annoying made it look like, of course he didn't think about the consequences. He's just some stupid kid. He just did something silly. Like, but now that he's permanently stuck in the past, which obviously he knew was going to happen, even though he's performing like, oh no, it's broken. Obviously, now that he's permanently stuck in the past, is he going to continue trying to weasel things out to fix the time stream? Or is it, was that like his main play? Like, if we can fix this one thing that I know for sure happened, which is Neutron killing my grandfather, will that kind of rolling cascade and save the time? Because it seems like him and Neutron were betting that just that one change could fix everything. And clearly that didn't work. So I'm curious now that he's on the team and he 
I'm assuming doesn't have a major plan moving forward to see how he adjusts or what information is he going to use to try to fix things. I don't know. It's like it's a very risky move and we'll see how it plays off. I like that they were like, all right, Kid Flash is off the team. So now we're going to get another speedster. <laughs> oh, sorry. We got the real speedy back. I mean, I'm really ambivalent about it because I've never met that guy. So, I mean, but it's good that he's no longer kidnapped, being kept in a cell um, and being used for DNA. Uh, so that's, you know, good for him. Um, Speedy 2.0, a Roy Harper, Red Arrow, can chill out, shave maybe, eat a sandwich, get some nutrients. Um, I'm sure he's lacking in vitamin D. Just like get everything he needs. Um, maybe get an apartment that isn't filled with mold. Um, all the basics to like be a parent, really. <laughs> so I'm curious if he is, like obviously he's going to bring Speedy to the league and they're going to try to fix him and heal him and wake him up and be like, what do you have any memories of what happened to you? Um, but now that we have gotten his major goal, is like Roy gonna really be in the season anymore? Like that's the part I'm not even sure about because at this point we focused several episodes to Roy trying to get Speedy back. So I feel like it'd be weird if they just like, all right, now he's retired, he's a dad now, like no big deal. It'd also be weird if it was like Roy retires, Cheshire is semi-retired, um, Artemis and Wally are, it's like, was that whole family just like out of the show? Like, that seems too simple. Like, there has to be something that's gonna bring them back into the game. I just don't know what it is. But I'm excited for it because I want Artemis back. And also Wally sometimes. <laughs> I guess other than that, I just really want um, Satana and Rocket. I want Mal to do something. We got a little bit of Bumblebee, but I would love to get a little bit more of her origin story. And yeah, the people who transition to the league officially, like, can I see them again ever? Like, I know this isn't their show anymore, but I miss them. Like, I just, I want them back. I really, really like Satana. I feel like I made that very clear last season. And so I'm really mad if it's like, no, she's in the league now. We're never going to see her again. Although I think I saw... A thumbnail for phantoms and she was in it so i'm assuming she'll come back at some point but like they, they can't now that we have characters transitioning from one team to the other i feel like there can't be this definitive like yeah we never see any of the league members except three people like there has to be a little bit more back and forth um especially since at this point the remaining league members are the former justice are the former young justice so I'm just kind of waiting for that point where we get that crossover again. Are we going to get some more insight into why Nightwing, McGann, and Connor don't want to join the league? I mean, Connor clearly has issues about being an eternal 16-year-old. Um, but for McGann and Nightwing, like there are reasons aren't as clear-cut to me. Part of me feels like McGann doesn't want to be in the league because she likes having less oversight. <laughs> like, uh, maybe that's very suspicious like logic thread but I just feel like she likes being on a team where she's in charge and no one can ask her any real questions um not that it seems like anyone ever does but um she can do her you know cute little mental torture and there's no one around to say boo to her so I feel like maybe she would prefer to be in that position where she can do what she wants um but as for Nightwing's logic I don't really know besides like that he just enjoys training people and just get more into their headspace and like how they have changed over the last five years and what has led them to the decisions that they've made. So that's what that's what I want to see. I don't know if I'm going to see it. It's what I want to see. And I think that is it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. All those good things that make me very happy. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I still really appreciate you. You can follow me on Twitter at Leah Sees Movies, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.